going on, guys? And welcome back to the Cartoon Conspiracy Theory with your host, as always, KMAC Time. Now, today, again, we have another fan submission video brought to you by none other than yourselves, the fans, the subscribers, which I really enjoy. If you guys want to get your theory featured on a future episode, make sure you guys head on over to the Facebook page and check that out. Send me a message over there, either there or Twitter. Either works. doesn't really matter. Links will be in the description. Check that out. Also, check out the Patreon. The Patreon subscribe also get special perks including free extra videos that only access to them awesome awesome stuff over there please check that out as well but let's go ahead and jump right into our very first theory of the week and this one comes to me from Courtney Stevens over on Facebook thank you Courtney for sending this one and she writes into me about a theory her theory on Dora the Explorer she says that Dora the Explorer is an illegal immigrant and that Swiper the Fox is actually the border police trying to find her and take her back Boots and the other supporting characters are friends of Dora that are trying to get across the United States border and that is why they are always on an adventure and that's why Swiper is always looking out for them and trying to capture them and take them back. Very cool theory. Not a whole lot of evidence, but you know what? That's fine. Not everything has a whole lot of have, has to have a whole lot of evidence behind it. Excuse me. Sometimes it's just fun to think about cartoons in a different light and this is a perfect example of that. Putting a different spin on something. Putting your own spin on it. So thank you, Courtney, for saying that one and appreciate that. Our next theory comes to me from a Reddit user called Nonverber, and his theory is very cool on Hey Arnold. Not again, one of those, not one of those with a whole lot of evidence behind it. But this one is something that's just really simple, but makes a whole lot of sense. And he says that Hey Arnold's attic bedroom with the skylight is the reason why he's always outside. Think about it. His room is the hottest. It is on the top of his skyscraper and it has an entire glass roof so that the sun is always beating in. Their parents, or grandparents, excuse me, are not the most wealthy. In fact, there's a lot of times in the show where they see the air conditioner going out. There's even a heat wave episode I believe where they, they put the, the fire hydrants out on the street and stuff like that. But that goes to show that during the summertime, they may not have the, the money to pay for air conditioning as it can be quite expensive with electricity bills. Due to this, and due to his room being on the top floor, therefore being the hottest, that explains why Hey Arnold, or Arnold, is just always out in the streets with his friends rather than being inside. Very cool theory very uh, simple but those are the ones i kind of enjoy hopefully you guys enjoyed it well and our final theory is from another redditor whose name he said not to mention but it is about pokemon another pokemon theory which is really cool this one's really fun and this one has to do why misty left the show now there's a picture floating around where misty is actually getting licked by a haunter and this would make perfect sense as to why she left the anime if you're looking at the pokemon Pokedex entry for Haunter. There's plenty of them throughout from yellow all the way down to modern games that would give a creepy explanation. Let's go ahead and read a few. From the Pokemon yellow one, this says, by licking it saps its victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. That is from Pokemon yellow. From Pokemon silver, it says, quote, its tongue is made of gas. If licked, its victim starts shaking constantly until imminent death. And from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, it says, This Pokemon will lick you with its tongue and steal your life away. Now, this could be the reason why Misty is absent from the anime. After a certain point, she could have actually been, you know, killed by getting licked by a haunter. Who knows? Very interesting stuff. Thank you for bringing that to my... my um attention very cool theory thank you guys all you guys who've been sending all the messages and sending all the stuff over on facebook i've been reading them all loving them all you guys will probably get your way into the next video if you have not checked out the facebook page like i said please come over check it out come talk with me send me messages like the videos share the videos all that kind of fun stuff and of course share your theories for your chance to be on next week's episode if you guys could smash that like button it would be greatly appreciated if we get to 500 likes i'll drop out a special video for you guys over on the facebook page later this weekends make sure to do that so you guys have a great day remember this came back time summer i will speak to you again shortly until then take it easy and peace out